It's time for starting lineups and a couple of changes tonight to the starting 11 for Brooklyn FC. Emily Yapel and Dana Sheriff up top looking at Tampa's lineup. Andrea Hawk's daughter getting her first start of the season. Lauren Kozel stays in net for the Sun and Cecile Flo at our head official Jacqueline Metz getting ready for first whistle. And we're off and running in week 11 in Manhattan, Brooklyn FC and Tampa Bay Sun. Riley Parker, the all SEC first team in SEC Ford of the year back in 2022. Giamona, midfield, looking to create space. Kristen Edmonds sends this ball forward to Riley Parker. She gets it just near the touchline. Back to Giamona. Giamona will play this across the box. Nacello on the end of it. Nacello finds the back of the net. Tampa Bay Sun up 1-0 four minutes into this match. Kind of wonder the bench are applauding. It was a wonderful move down that left-hand side. Started by Kristen Edmonds with a beautiful pass into Riley Parker. And then Giamona comes along with the support. But still, what a good finish by Nacello. We saw how she had to assist that when Pantusa came and got the header from the corner. So if you keep falling behind match after match, you put yourself under all sorts of pressure. Ball picked off by Yapel. Dana Sheriff. He finds Sam Kroger at the top of the box. Kroger. Ball played across, headed in. Ball sent towards goal. And put back in. Brooklyn FC ties this game up and it's Dana Sheriff in her first start of the season. Brooklyn trying to find some space in midfield and up top they'll find Dana Sheriff. Sheriff takes a shot, and just sails over the crossbar. In the first couple of matches of the season. I'm just curious to see whether she comes in in that same sort of midfield ro role that Hope Breslin was in or whether. Ball played in and That'll be a foul on Kristen Edmonds. She'll be shown a yellow card. Well, they're gonna determine whether it's a fair shoulder to shoulder or not. Let's have a look at the moment of contact. I think the ball's gone past the striker. Have a look. No, I think that's... Garziano steps up. And a goal for Brooklyn FC, Garziano. Puts the PK away. Well, she's only been on the match about five minutes. And she already got a goal, even though it is courtesy of the penalty. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way, which is always a sign of a good penalty. So, well done, Garciano. Have a look at this again and just see when they maybe they make some changes off the bench. The wonderful experience they can bring on. They have to wait and see. That's a wrap on the first half between Brooklyn FC and Tampa Bay Sun FC. On to, to let the players acclimate, get used to the situation in Tampa Bay, get to know all the teammates before playing them. But now they've been thrown in and they've got a job to do, which is get their team back in. Emily Yapel takes this ball herself, deflected away by Kozel and dangerous there. Nacello, again, using her quick touches to get out of the back. Look at her go. She's taking on the whole team all by herself. <laughs> Scarpelli. Brilliant. Scarpelli will be shown a yellow card. If they keep doing that, you fancy something will happen. It's what Brooklyn did. They had shots from distance. One of them ended up creating a goal. Sanina Sello with the ball. Ball deflected, ball sent back. And saved by Sydney Martinez. Oh. 
And a great touch moving forward. Grabias takes it to the touch line and gets stuck on the outer part of the goal. Great ball. Ball played across. Saved by Brooke Hendricks. Cecile Flo Nielsen. Finds Flint, Flint sends it in. Saved by Martinez. Long ball played forward for Cecile Flo Nielsen. Tries to get a touch around Martinez. I'm actually thinking that Cecile Flo Nielsen actually got to the ball first there. Just couldn't generate any power on it. That's that's what she that's the danger she can present, and we haven't seen it from her so far this game. Kenzie George using that speed on the far side. Serves this ball across the box. And you can see Luana Gravias with the excitement. This Brooklyn team was hoping for this win tonight. They needed the boost of energy, their first win in six games.